in working it today we have a scam alert joining me now is andy challenger of challenger gray and christmas here to talk about recruitment scams who knew happy to have you on the show thanks for having me so what's going on with this people are setting up phony corporations to hire people and take their money? Yeah, we've seen a real rise uh, in, in this era where people are applying for a lot of jobs online. Scammers have realized they can go in, set up fake profiles, fake companies, and, and uh, get job applicants to disclose information that they normally wouldn't give to, to random strangers over the internet. It is so easy to take somebody's logo and to make it look official. So what's the tip off? When do you know this is a phony setup. Yeah, so uh, you know we are seeing some of these companies even conduct uh, you know online interviews with their scam, uh, the people that they're scamming. So they're they're seeing interviewing them, these people. They're face interviewing to face. them. But if a company's not going to have you come in face to face and meet with them in real life before they offer you a job position, that's a really good red flag. So what are they doing? Using Skype or something? They're using Skype. They're having you know full interviews with with uh, uh, scammees and then offering them jobs and asking for information about their their personal uh, you know history and information and they take money and they take their money they're stealing their identities uh, and people uh, that are looking for jobs are vulnerable in a lot of ways and they're much more likely to give away their information now you say some of the companies names that have been used in these scams and it sounds so legitimate Google and even Shell yep. Shell Oil yeah, so so scammers are you know setting up uh, fake uh, email addresses. So it'll be googlejobs.com. So so you know just a slightly different from the real company, but it looks real enough to people that are applying for those positions. Uh, so so anytime somebody's contacting you from a personal email address or a personal phone number, that's a red flag that it could be a potential scammer. This is something that people are reporting. It is. It's a, a reporting more and more. Uh, the FBI has set up a new cyber crimes division to, to deal with these cases because they've uh, been happening in such great numbers. Um, uh, we've seen a lot of cases reported in Houston uh, in, in kind of the uh, hiring boom that's gone over there the last couple of years. So the scammers know where to work. They're yeah. going to really go for areas where people are looking for jobs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me.